What's up guys, Sarah here, back with another video with this Haina. <laughs> so, today we're just gonna do a muck, muck bang. True. You know, kind of like boiling crab, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what we're attempting to do, something like boiling crab. We want, no, we tried it one time. It was actually pretty good. So instead of like going and buying food, we're just gonna try to make it. And, and we're not, gross. this is not gonna be like a full on cooking video, but you know, we're gonna show you a little bit of the process. So we got two and a half pounds of two? shrimp. Yeah, they're the big shrimpies. Let me show you. These are big shrimpies. We got the corn, the corn on the cob, mini potatoes, all the spices that we need. To I'll make the whole shebang flavor. To, yeah, to make the whole shebang flavor. We got some lemons and some limes. And some butter sticks. Wishing shrimp. Wishing shrimp. Oh. For the record, I don't cook. She really doesn't. You know, as long as we've been together, she's never been fucking cooked me a fucking egg. Okay. Right, so sorry about the lighting. Our light actually went out. It's been like struggling for the past month, so it finally just like said, Shabai. It's said, a better place. It's in a better place now, but yeah. So we're working with the the light up there and the light back there. And natural so lighting. And natural lighting. Because her ring light went in and gave up too. Oh yeah. Se fundió. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a long She said she's gonna buy me a new one, but she hasn't. Oh, huh, I did say that. Look at this baby garlic! <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna fuck cut you up. She's, she's as ill now because she knows how to be made, but when she's at boiling crab, she's like, up in that bag. <laughs> she's like, I'm about to dive into that bag. Girl, I eat really fast, like really, really fast, but when Sarah eats boiling crab, it's like, I look down to peel one shrimp and she's done with the whole bag. <laughs> This is my favorite food. I love this. Okay, so our lemons are still boiling. We added the lemon pepper, two scoops. Wait, how much? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, not two scoops. And now we're going to add a um, beach spice. Two um, tablespoons of the Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay. So then once your lemons are boiling, you add the shrimp. The lemons just for like flavor or whatever. No, they're for looks. Well, she gets down. I need to the shrimp and las papas. I'm gonna do some. Some snacks. Her doritos! <laughs> Agarramos una bot By the way, Kenya messed up my other chamoy bottle, so I had to get another one because her funny ass. Try to prank me and she put like freaking habanero chiles, crushed habanero chiles inside, right? And like sriracha sauce and whatnot. How about? Whoa! <laughs> you just sprayed me with your boy. Achoo! You! Please you! What? Is it coming? Los aritos fritos. Okay, so in the meantime, while that cooks, boils up, cooks up, whatever. I'm gonna write the names. I'm gonna put them in a bowl for the $100 giveaway. So we finally finished. Ta da! Um, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. So. Mm. Okay. Did okay, you don't mean? Yeah. You don't mean Zyra? It was the you most me weird. cooking show. What are we gonna talk about? I have it. I have it. A glove, just because she's ghetto. <laughs> no, nah, because you know she's bougie. She doesn't want to wear pants. Mm mm. Because my camera sometimes acts up all the time, and it like stops recording after a bit. So mm -hmm. I don't want to have to like mm -hmm. wash my hands, blah blah. So I just take off the one glove and press record again. What are we gonna talk about, Lisa? Mm-hmm. 
about that one time back in 2012 when you made me mad? You even <laughs> know me back then. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's June. So we should do a coming out. You're coming. Give them your coming out story. Um. Well, <laughs> back in high school, I had my very, very first girlfriend. I think it was that sophomore around there. I don't know. And I was always a lot cooler with my mom than with my dad. You know, my dad was a little, that eh, oh. was scary. So, you know, back then, I don't remember, was it Facebook or MySpace? I don't remember. MySpace. You know, we had a computer at home and I was on my social media. I don't remember which one. Point is that I decided to show my mom. I'm like, look, this is my girlfriend. Is she pretty? But since I fuck around a lot with my mom, like she didn't believe me. She was like, ah, that's pendejan. Like laughed about it. So my mom had a, like a lesbian, like close friend too, herself, like really close friend. So it was like a 4th of July and we were gonna go, you know, mira los cuetes, like watch the fireworks. So it was gonna be me, her, my mom, and my brother. And I decided to invite my girlfriend. And she thought I was kidding. So I invited my girlfriend, and that's basically how she finally believed me. <coughs> mm -hmm. She was cool with it? Well, once we got home, her mom is pretty cool. Once we got home, she kind of like pulled me in the room, and she was like, I love you no matter what you like. If that's really what you know, what you that's like, fun. then I'm behind you. She's like, I just don't want you. Ooh! It just splattered all over my face. She's like, I just don't want you like kissing, you know, like being all touchy or holding hands in front of your brother. Because my brother was a lot smaller back then. So I respected that. And that was pretty much it. And then my, I mean, I eventually just started coming out to the rest of my family. Um, little by little, or they kind of already knew. Um, to me, it's like, it's my life. So you're not paying my rent. You're not. So you shouldn't. They should have nothing to say. To my dad, it never really came out. Um, shortly after that, my parents divorced, and then my dad kind of took off. And I haven't seen him like in over five years, so he's not around. So I don't feel like I should come out to him. I barely talked to him. So, anyways, but all my family knows. And that was it. Not not too much. Mine was pretty. I don't know. Basic, I guess. Nothing extreme came out. I'm sure if I would have told my dad, I wouldn't be alive right now, but <laughs> I wouldn't be telling you guys this story. They wouldn't kill you. No, he would disown me. Anyways, I feel like Cyrus is a little more interesting. I don't feel like crying today. I feel, no, I probably won't cry. It's been too long already. I kind of like, I kind of always kind of knew that I like girls, you know? And, uh, but I never acted on it until one of my close friends at the time came out to me. We ended up getting together, but we just stopped talking because it was awkward. We were like in, I don't know if it was eighth grade middle school or ninth grade high school. Okay, so that was that. That was like how I kind of like, okay, like, yeah, I'm gay, you know? Um... I went all through high school kind of like hiding it from my parents, my family. The only person I told was my little brother, Edgar. The editor. The editor. <clears throat> like ever since he was little, he was like my little best friend. Like like he was younger, but his, he's, a, he's advanced. Like He's advanced. No, seriously. Like he can have an adult conversation. That's what I was trying to I don't know. Whatever, so he was like my go-to, he was like my dude, like guess what, you know, like my cheese man, you know? So he's the one that I came out to. I never came out to my older brother because my older, he's younger than me, but older than my, my smaller brother. Anyways, I never came out to him What she's trying to say is that with her, there is total of four of them. So it's her, it's her brother, Jesus, and then it's her brother, Edgar, the editor, and then it's her little sister, Melissa. Mm -hmm. That's it. Anyways, proceed. I never told Jesus because I feel like he was a type to blackmail. So I felt I always felt like nah, like if I make him mad, that's the first thing he's gonna be doing. Like, oh, do this for me, or oh, what the fuck, I'm gonna tell my mom you're gay. You know? So I never did that. 
Fast forward some time, I graduated high school. I met uh, someone else and I saw that that person was out to her family. And I saw that her family was so accepting and blah, blah. And I wanted that. Like I, I started seeing that and I kind of like, I wanted it. Like it made me want it. What are you doing? Are you talking shit? I'm um, trying to put my Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it made me want that. You know, like I want to be able, because when you're, when you're not out, when you're in the closet, like most of your, you're hiding most of your life. You're not you with your family, like, because you're in the closet, you're hiding. You can't be yourself fully. So I decided <laughs> one night I was going to tell my parents and I couldn't verbally say it. I could not verbally say it. So I wrote a letter and I just took it to my mom. They were both in the room already, mom and dad. I wrote a letter and then she read it and she came out. <laughs> she came out and I was already in the living room and by that time I had already told my older my brother Jesus what I had done and what like you know that I was gay. My brother actually took it whatever. He was like, dude, like cuz I thought that my dad was going to come and he was going to whoop my ass, kick me out, blah blah. So my brother was over there saying like, "Oh, I got your back." Like, nah, nah, right? So we were all like in the living room, me and my two brothers just kind of like waiting for for to see what's gonna happen and mm, so my mom finally comes out and um she looks at me and she's like que es esto and my mom was like well, you know kind of like looking at her like what you mean que es esto like you not read it <laughs> and she's like ven le vamos a decir a tu pa to papa and I was like oh shoot I didn't want to tell him tell him I don't even think I told him I think she went back in and she told him because he came out and I was still in the living room with my brother shitting bricks and he's like es verdad lo que te dice tu mamá like is it true what my mom's what your mom's telling me and I was like yeah he just looks me looks at me dead in the eyes and he's like they didn't kick me out I'm glad they didn't kick me out I thought they were. And if they did. And he was, he didn't whip my ass or anything, but he looked dead in my ass and basically said he didn't want none of that gay stuff under his roof. That's what he told me. And he, they kind of stopped talking to me. They took away my car because they gave me a car like for graduation or whatever. Or a little after graduation. They took away my car, so my ass was like carless, going to work, blah, blah. And that was that. Like, that was how I came out. And for like a year later, like I moved out and I thought maybe like they were going to be okay once I like move out and they see that I'm out and like, I don't know, for some reason I thought they were going to, they never came around like a year later, they were, they still hadn't came around and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I felt like, I don't know, like I was like, I thought they just needed time because everybody kept telling me like, no, they just need time, let time, blah, blah. I know one year passed, two years passed, three years passed. I like the fourth year, I was kind of like always talk, trying to like talk to my mom about it, like about bringing up the subject. I just like kept bringing up the subject and she was always mad. I used to ask her, oh, if I get married, would you go to my wedding? And she'd be like, no, you know, I'm not okay with that, blah, blah. So like every time I would talk to her and bring it up to her, I'd end up crying because I never got the response or like I never got anything good out of it. So you know, like kind of like when you ask for permission, hoping they say yes, but they say no, so you get mad and you start crying, kind of like that. So, um, so but whatever, I kept bugging my mom about it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. My dad, I never, I've ne ever since till this day, we kind of don't even talk about it. We just like, it's like it, I just never really came out. To him. To him, like, he acts dumb or something, I don't know. To this day. So whatever, for my mom, uh, I think two years ago, yeah, two years ago, um, I was having like a freaking meltdown, breakdown, whatever, breakup type of, heartbroken type of crap. And she was there for me, like, I, w I told her what happened, you know, and she was there for me, and I think I got the wrong signal out of that, because I felt like, 
she was okay with me but I came to realize that she wasn't okay with me she was just actually being a mom being there for me you know she was like telling me like oh I bet that hurts like blah blah just like little stuff like that so I took it the wrong way I thought she was okay but she wasn't and then fast forward what like a year or two that was two years ago you said yeah so fast forward two years two years um I started keep in mind I kept bugging her all the time about me and my sexuality and blah blah um when I moved out I told her I was moving out because I couldn't like be gay like I couldn't be gay under the roof so it wasn't like oh I'm gonna move out blah blah for the second time this was the second time I moved out yeah I went back and I moved out again so hold on I'm full me too I told her I was gonna move out because I couldn't be getting in her house blah blah and at that time she already knew who she was like through pictures or like because she hears me she's in love with my brothers or like whatever or because I used to always commute from LA to Fresno like every weekend to come see her so she knew I would come to Fresno just to come see her so when I told her I was gonna move to back to Fresno she knew why point Finally, we had a, was it a family party? Mm, yeah, it was your little cousin's birthday party. Mm -hmm. Last September, so it's going to be a year this September. Last September, it was my little cousin's birthday party. September 2018. Yeah. And um, she, she, I asked her to come with me, this girl. And I don't know if I told her or told you or or not but I had texted my mom like I kind of like told her like kind of like giving her a heads up like hey like it always going blah blah like I was just kind of scared like I didn't want my mom to be rude to because she's never taken anyone home. I've never taken anybody home like she's never met anyone that I've dated in the past or anything so I was shitting it I was like because my mom always told me if I ever take somebody home she was gonna like kick them out which i never i think she would have not done that like she wouldn't go through with that she would not be able to do that so before like taking her to the family party i was texting her i was like okay hey, like i'm gonna take you home blah blah and i was pretty much telling her like not to be rude that's it that's all i asked for her from her not to be rude so <laughs> my mom said hi <laughs> i was when we got there i was sitting with her and my best friend we we're just sitting there and I didn't want to get up because I wanted to be at the table when my mom goes up to the table to say hi to my best friend to see if she was gonna say hi to this one right here this one right here to Irami but whatever I ended up getting up and she tells me that my mom did say hi to her what it would what, what happened well my mom was okay so she was she had a little plastic bag you know going around the tables picking up trash and for whatever reason Sarah had left the table so it's just me and her best friend and her mom passes by and then she says hi to her or whatever gives her a hug looks at her in the eye to me she kind of says like we just shook hands and basically said hi and like i'm you don't mean nice to meet you she's like whatever and say her name and that was that that's pretty much like how it went just basic regular like nice to meet you type of thing but we ended up leaving the party kind of early because Sarah wanted to go somewhere with her friend and uh we got a hotel over there in la for the weekend so on sunday the next day we were going for the recalentado and if for you guys don't know what the recalentado is it's basically when you go eat leftovers so we went over to her family's house again and like it was kind of awkward ish you know i was just kind of sitting there and everybody was talking i mean i was still kind of smiling and shit you know trying to fit in <laughs> I think my grandma was the most talkative. Oh yeah, grandma. but her grandma doesn't know, so her grandma just thinks I'm like a best best friend. So you know, grandmas are super sweet, and especially little Mexican grandmas, like they just want to feed you and like make sure you're okay and comfortable. Like her grandma was my fave, even though she doesn't know, but it's okay. Like, you know? That's my fave grandma. She was just talking and stuff. But anyways, fast forward to like when we're about to head back home that Sunday uh, evening. Um, obviously I said hi I said bye to everyone and um, her mom and her aunt so her mom's sister they were sitting down this little bench and I was kind of kind of just standing there and then I turned around and I was gonna say like oh really nice to meet you her mom 
I don't think she was rude, but she was just very shy, like very, very shy. And I was freaked out, like I was scared. But her being shy made me feel so much better that it made me feel a little more confident. So when I said bye, her mom was kind of shy. She just shook, you know, <coughs> shook my hand and was like, "Oh, nice to meet you." But she wasn't even looking at me in the eye. She like looked past me. It's like she was looking at something behind me. She didn't look at me in the eye. She just said, "Like, nice to meet you," and that was kind of. Would like you it. say it was kind of like a? So she won't be disrespectful. I don't know what it was. I just think I took it as she or was maybe very she was nervous, 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 shy, whatever. But that was that. But I mean, things are so much better now. Now she gets to hug. Now we hug. Now mm. we hug. Now she looks at yeah, me. Yeah. Now, um, after that that party, um, so that was that, right? And then for Easter, her family doesn't celebrate Easter. I'm usually with her family, honestly. Like Thanksgiving, I was with her family. What else? Christmas Day, I was with you, huh? Um, Christmas Eve, you were with yours. I was with my Oh, aunt. but I went to your house. But Christmas Day, we drove back home and spent it with my mom because my mom didn't go to LA. But Christmas na Christmas Eve, like Christmas night, I went over there, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, after 12. Yeah. Mm. So, fast forward that, um, this year on Easter. So, she went, we celebrate Easter, and I went to, <coughs> and then, ah, and we went to my mom's house. For Easter, and um, yeah, we we're just there like having fun, whatever. Like I had already came out to my my aunts, like two of my faves, you know, which are my mom's sisters, and they were okay with it right away, you know. When I came out, they were like, you know, whatever, what, basically like whatever you like, you know, and um, so they were talkative with with her my mom was being talkative too huh yeah her mom cracked an uh, egg yeah. like everybody was just it was super fun i think that was like the best easter i ever had this year so i don't know my family has never been one to celebrate i mean we do everything else like my family is very family orientated but um not, not when it comes for to easter we never really celebrated it so this is like the actual first easter i got to celebrate and it was a Cyrus family and i had a lot of fun i mean everyone i felt I felt a little more accepted. I felt a little more welcomed. Um, yeah, my mom was actually not. They made me like they made me the michelada girl. Like I was <laughs> making micheladas for her whole family and like left to right. Like it was nonstop. I was about to put a little and you know, tip jar she, next to she, me. She's like, put this in the fridge and side on top. This is gonna be for your mom. Because her mom only wanted to drink if it was super cold. So I went out of my way to make sure her beer was super cold. Sometimes her. you gotta do a little extra, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That was the day I kind of like, okay, my mom's pulling out. Like, plus this girl was cleaning around because I see all the mess of the confetti and stuff. She was cleaning around and my mom and her sisters were kind of like sitting, you know, chismeando. And I was just standing around there, around them while she's cleaning over there. <laughs> um, I don't, I wasn't aware of this. And um, I told you. I know, but at oh. the time I wasn't aware of it. And I, all I hear my tia, my aunt's like, Trying to tell me something across the room. Okay, not across the room, just like across the group of people. And she's like telling me like something that my mom said, and I'm like, I couldn't really hear her, so I just smiled and nodded. And then it just kind of like clicked. And she basically said, the the daughter in law is winning over. She said, my mom said that the daughter in law is winning her over. You know, and like when it clicked, I was like shook. Like, I was like, what like I never I never expected I didn't expect that from him not this soon you know well, actually it's been fucking six years five yeah but it's like I told Sarah I think it's because she never took anyone around so how is someone supposed to get used to that fact that their daughter or son is gay if you never actually show how happy you look or who you really are in because front of them you gotta, so they're never gonna accept it you gotta understand like I know I, I was scared I was scared as hell like I didn't want to take somebody around and like go through like the embarrassment of my family like my parents kicking that person out like I didn't I never never wanted I would not want to put anybody in that position so that's why I was really really scared and that's why before I took you like I remember texting my mom like kind of like giving her a heads up and basically telling her like say maran huevo you know and like don't be rude just like asking her to do that for me 
And um, so yeah, but after that, it's pretty good. Now they're gonna come over. Pick, I've been here for like a year. I've lived in Fresno for a year and they haven't came to visit me once. And they were supposed to come this weekend, but. Some shit happened, so, so they, they couldn't they couldn't come. But now they, they show interest in coming over. Now, like, I pay, I pay attention to little things. Like, little things mean so much. Like, for example, when we go visit to LA, and we drive back before my mom used to text me, oh, drive safe, get there safe, blah, blah. And it was more of a text, like, just towards me. And now she's like, oh, I'm glad you girls got there safe, blah, blah. When it's not just, like, you know, like, now she includes her. And, like, those little things is, like, fuck, like, that make me happy. I don't, don't want to go cry, but. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know. Like, I want my family to to like the person that I'm dating. You know? Yeah. Are you guys are crying? No, me cayó algo, me cayó algo en el ojo. I didn't. We didn't go too in detail into our. Well, I didn't go too in detail into mm -hmm. my coming out story, but I hope you enjoyed it. For those of you. Happy Pride Month, by the way. Happy Pride Month, everyone. For those of you that are still in the closet, it gets better, you know what? It takes gets years. better after you come out. I know the first it year. Takes some of, some pe I freaking can stand stories that are like, I came out and it was rainbows and butterflies. Like, it's not that I can stand it, but I'm, I'm jealous. Sorry. I'm just jealous because I wish it was like that. Like, I went through freaking five, six years with like, kind of hiding parts of what I do in my life, you know, like, and it's choosing between, oh, who am I gonna stay this holiday with, like, my family or my girlfriend, like, that shit sucks, you know? So, yeah, that's why I'm jealous. But if you're still in the closet, but I it's waited too late. late. Don't ever think, oh, I'm old, it's too late. It's never too late the to older, relieve. The older you something. are, the easier it is, I think. It doesn't because matter. It's hard either way. Either way, whether, but when everyone has a different story. When you're older, I feel like they don't. The because my parents, the first thing they said is like you're confused. What? Well, I mean, everyone has a different story. It just depends. But I'm just trying to say that it's never too late if you think you're keep saying like, "Oh, I'm old already." Like it doesn't matter. It's never too late. Um, if you have a heart, if if it's not rainbows and butterflies, like she said. It's okay, like it's gonna get better, you know. Okay, guys, since we're getting full and our stories are coming to an end, we're gonna close out this video with a giveaway. So, but, anyways, we're just saying, even a shout out to our straight alleys out there, your support means a lot. Uh huh. Especially from you guys, because not a lot of uh, straight people are pro gay. Okay, so, shout out to you guys. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are are pro, like they're supportive. And once you hit him with the question, like, what will you do if your kid, if your kid comes oh, out? Oh, not my kid. Oh, I don't know. That's a different story. Blah, blah. So, it's kind of like, well... It's okay only when it's not your kid or like I don't know. Yeah. That that trips me out. Like I don't know how I feel about that. Like But anyway, shout out to all the alleys out there. But since we you know we're getting a little full, well at least and doesn't look like she's full yet. I'm just trying to finish these soggy Doritos. Okay. So she is I'm just gonna swerve it around. Oop. Sure everyone's in there. And then Cyrus is going to close her eyes and then she's going to pick the lucky winner of the Benjamin. Is he a Benjamin? No, it's a Benjamin. Okay. It's a dollar giveaway. I tricked you guys. She added uh, two zeros by accident. Yeah. It's actually 1.00. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. All right, ready? Uh huh. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not even lucky then. Okay. Got it? Mm-hmm. Who can it be? Who can it be? This animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm 
Rocio, Rocio Becerra. Becerra. Look at that. Let's see if she answers. If she don't answer, she's lost. We get another name. We're gonna put, throw it out and pick another one. Just kidding. Wow, Rocio. Wow, Rocio. Ow, who's next? Who's next, I bet? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. We're just kidding about. We're just kidding. Rocio, she's a lucky winner. You can come and claim your prize, or we can mail it to you, we can Venmo it, we can cash app you, we can Apple Pay you, whatever works. Nah. Anyways, guys, if you guys a little <laughs> If you guys want more giveaways, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on because at 500 subscribers, I will be having another giveaway. It would be $500. Nah, so I don't know what it's going to be exactly yet, but yes, at 500, I will have a giveaway. So hit the post notification button and so that you get an announcement on your phone that I posted a video. And don't forget to Get the thumbs up, give my video a like if you enjoyed it. If you want more mukbangs, let me know. Or if you want the recipe, let, let us know. know. Yes, leave a comment down below. Any good feedback, bad feedback, pointless feedback. Throw it at us. Just throw it at us. Um, follow me on all my social media. It's at Omadahi. So Twitter, Instagram, and, and Snapchat. Snapchat. It's at Omadahi. O-H-M-A-H-I. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. <laughs> she did. <laughs> O-H-M-A-D-A-H-I. There it is. Anyways. <laughs> Bye.